All right, everybody. Welcome to, I guess this is part three. Um, we're going to be looking at starting out with Eclipse. And I'm going to not open this, because if I do, I will start working on it, which I did. <laughs> um, I tried making this yesterday, but I ended up just working on Pony Pack all day. So, what we want to do, we'll call this getting started. Now, what you first want to do inside your source, you open that, you go to new uh, package, and we will call this com dot. Oh wait, all should be lowercase com dot. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Tuts. There we go. Now inside of that, new class and this will be our main class. Call it whatever you like. Um, usually people will call it main. I don't like to do that. I usually call it whatever the name of the program is, or the uh, plugin is, and it is called tuts in this case. Should be capital. So, now that we've done that, before we do anything else, we've got this set up. What we need to do is right click on here, go to um, uh, properties, Java build path, add external jars. Now, what you should have done already is get the uh, the spigot build tools, run that, and then it will. Uh, you'll get your craft bucket and bucket and whatnot. Um, I think I use craft bucket remapped, and then I also use bucket target the shaded jar for bucket 1.8 whatever. Alright, now that we have our libraries in here and our APIs and whatever, what we need to do is extend this to Java plugin. Extends Java plugin. And then it's going to tell us to import that. Go ahead. Now that's all fine and dandy, but what we need to do, and since I've already got this here. I'll just copy paste that. So this is going to instance it so we can access it elsewhere. And it's mainly used for doing like me dot whatever. It I don't I don't exactly remember why we have to do it. It's been a really long time since I've actually started out as making a plugin, so um, this is an important thing, plugin logger. It's like doing this. Oops. But it has like it'll put it in it'll put your plugin name in brackets. It's basically a logging tool like yeah. Okay. So, uh public static on load public static void on load right just public void okay is that right yeah public void that's right because it's not static idiot it's like I've said it's been a while on disable oh this should actually be on enable and then um, how do I do the chat thing I'll just copy it so here's what you need command sender that's whoever sends the command the command name and then this is like extra stuff So args, that's if you want to have it do like a base command and then some more stuff. Um, dot equals equals ignore case and we will call it tuts. Then do some stuff. I haven't had 
had anything to drink for like okay about since noon yesterday it's 7 a.m. now 8 a.m. Ah. all right um so what we want this to do we want it to actually do something so we will go logger no not the logger we want it to dot broadcast message oops if you mistype that needs to be a parenthesis there we go oh yeah make sure you close your uh, brackets and whatnot Ooh. okay so basically now if none of this works then it's just gonna say yeah that none of nothing was called so ignore it um... what else should we make it do uh... also what i like to do at the start of this block of or at this uh... method is i like to do player p equals uh, bucket dot get player, and then it should be sender get name. Okay. So this will give you access to all of the player commands, like p dot set health and player dot get inventory. Otherwise, it is um, the sender is just the name of the player and then the command is the name of the command so I like to do this so p dot yeah so you can do player dot set health and whatnot you can so here's where you declare what the object is in this case it's a player this is the variable you can assign to it it can be whatever you want and then here is where you assign that or what basically this is an empty object but you have to tell it where to get it from so I'm telling it to get the player from the name sender. So that means whoever sends the message is this. So let's go p not get inventory dot. Ooh, you know what? Let's let's give him some potions. Um, let me find. I don't remember how to do the potions exactly because I just copy paste it from where I have it done before. Here we go. So I don't even need to do p.getPlayer. I can just do p because that is the player. Potion effect type. Let's give um invisibility. And this is your time in ticks so 200 ticks is about 20 seconds 20 ticks is one second and then this is the intensity or the level of the potion we'll go one because it honestly doesn't matter but and then if you do integer dot max value it's infinite so basically that'll make you invisible I think we need to do else. Yeah. Touch one. Let's say touch from you. And then uh, p dot remove potion effect. Oops. And there we go. So, that's all fine and dandy, but not gonna work so why do I even bother oh let me um, go ahead and populate some uh, that's not it I like to uh, there we go so here's where the logger comes into place 
this will say in logs I'll just show you um, game server 1.8 uh, craft bucket um, you should know how to set up a craft bucket server you do not need to port forward unless you want other people testing your plugins um, I port forward because I want other people to test it. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and log into 1.8. Oh, first what we need to do is file. So we click on our main project, uh, the folder, getting started. We go new, file, uh, getting started. And then we will call it plugin.yaml.yml. Now, this is the hard part. <laughs> I say it's the hard part because this is the part I have the most problems with. What I like to do is just copy paste one that I've already made. <laughs> so this is com.brian. Dot tuts, right? Yeah. Dot tuts. And it, do I need the extension? No. So here's how it works. It goes package name and then the uh, file name. In this case, I called it tuts. And then one, two, three spaces. And then the command name. So tuts. And then you can do description or whatever. I don't like to do that. Well, I don't want to do that because... I'll do it. Description. This all needs to be lowercase, by the way. Do a thing. Tuts two, three, dis description. Another thing. Okay. So let's go ahead and export this getting started and we will call this tuts in um, bucket for 1.8 it doesn't do the whole like you can reload but it'll give you an error it doesn't matter There we go. Getting started dash on enable. Um, where's the logger? Hmm. Ambiguous plugin name plugin better post for plugins. Touch dot jar. What? Ha 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 ha. I mean, what? What are you talking about? I didn't do that. Oh, let me change the version. I set up a uh, a shortcut control E to export because I do a lot of that. And touch loading touch 1.0, enabling touch version 1.0. Touch put whatever you want here. So you could just say like haha the owner is a smelly basket or something. So let's go ahead and test our commands. Touch touch to you. I'm invisible. Ooh, I'm completely invisible. Touch one. Oh, what's the command name? I totally didn't make a mistake there. I mean, Tuts. Ooh, I'm invisible. You cannot see me. Tuts one. Oh, I'm back. Hello. Oops. Okay. So, that's how you get your basic commands going. That's basically just getting started with with Bucket and learning how to do on enable. So, here... Hold on, let me pause the music for this. On In the on enable class, or uh, method, what it should do is... You know what? 
where's here I'll just show you a more advanced version so on disable right here we got this saves all of your um, this will save your player data and and stuff um, it'll stop anything like if you have like a loop going it'll stop it and tell you okay don't do this anymore because we're stopping otherwise and then on load it'll say okay you gotta reinitialize this thing dude so <coughs> basically save all your stuff and then uh, stop any loops or any like uh, things you're running on enable you want to set your configs your config variables like this AA config which is just a static it's a uh, not a it's an empty variable until you do on enable and it's telling you that this is located here in the uh, config file under this name um, and then it saves it loads it or reloads it so basically it says okay this is here let me save it and then I'm gonna reload it so I know what's in there at this moment so I get the updated information and then it does that for all of your configs um, log .get logger, yeah whatever um, if you want to make a new file you just go new file you would want to do that in the on enable class so if if it already exists then it won't do it um, it also should uh, uh, let's see oh yeah you should register your events which would be like if someone is walking you want to register whatever class that's in so like if player walks do this it's an event player move event um, player animation event, uh, block place event, block break event. That's where you would want to do that in your on enable class. And then it should also, um, uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, it should check your thing, your configs, and like, is this enabled? Then, yeah, go ahead and do this. And this should only run once when you first start up your server or whenever you do a reload or anything. Reload spawns. Oh, wait, you don't need that. Um, that's something that's more specific to my plugin. So, load your configs, save them on disable, uh, save your configs and whatever. Save configs register things no don't register things save your configs stop loops um, whatever you'll you'll get once you actually start like trying or not trying once you actually start messing with the on disable and on enable things you'll get the hang of it um, what else Importing, um, we covered that in the drawing episode. Basically, it's a lot more difficult in Notepad. On with if you use Bucket, however, I mean not Bucket. If you use Eclipse, however, it does it automatically. <laughs> so that's why I use. <laughs> also, it has IntelliSense, so I can go system dot system dot. Well, if I'm in a method, system dot. Oh. Yeah, and it just tells me what what the possible things are for that particular thing. So, we've got our commands working. They do things. We've got... I really like this. Ooh, you can't see me. Ooh, your dog can see you, though, because it's a dog. Oh, that's, that's a spoilers for... P3P. P P three P P B P three P P. Ha! No! Oh god, I just realized that. Oh man. P three P P. Dang it! Why did I name it that? Oops. Oh well. Um I'm trying to think what else I should cover in this. 
Uh, we've got getting started with Bucket. I think that's about all for now, yeah. Um, you're exporting. Oh yeah, exporting. So, here, if you right click, you can go to export. I bound mine to control E. What you want to do is jar file. So it'll be under Java and jar file. Hit next. Name it whatever you want. Export it wherever you want. For it to work in your plugins, it needs to be in your plugins folder. But you can just drag and drop that where if you want. Um, I think next time I'll I'll work on uh, doing configs maybe, because those are always fun. I love doing file systems. Says no one ever. Um, so yeah, you can do that. You you should just you don't need your settings. That's that's if you want to export it and then like to another uh, what's it called? Um, Eclipse. So they get your settings file. Ink. Your projects? I don't remember, honestly. Oh, yeah, okay. So it'll, like, it'll export your preferences for that particular project. Which I don't think I have any. Then you hit finish. Yep, if it wants you to know, override it, go ahead and click. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It'll always say this. Um, it's because of... Um, it's not used, okay. Logger isn't used apparently either, so that doesn't need to be used either. Um, what else? Let's see if it actually. No, it's still gonna cause this. My plugins always have warnings because oh, did that actually just un just export immediately? Wow. Let's see if that actually worked. Mine always have uh, warnings because I use a lot of depreciated. De 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 deprecation. Depracted. I have no idea what that word is. I don't know how to pronounce it, so sue me. Oh, it actually does work. Okay. Did, did it still log? Yeah, it did. Okay. So I guess I didn't need those. Why did I need those? Oh, I probably needed it for something else. Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, that's about it for today. Um, sorry that I just rambled on for freaking however long I rambled on for, but that's what I do. Um, I think next episode we'll look into doing like configs and stuff and multiple classes. Or mul not classes, but multiple, multiple Java files that all interact with the same mod and possibly multiple packages. Maybe. 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 That's a big maybe. Um, definitely we're gonna work on uh, uh, configs though. Definitely. And then I can work on visual effects because I love putting really cool like s effects and sounds and stuff into my plugins. Uh, thanks for watching. What I want you to do um, is basically just set up like a basic plugin that you want to uh, that you will be using for like practice and whatnot. Usually, what I do is I whatever plugin I'm working on at the moment, I will just practice in. <laughs> like, like if I don't know how to do something, I'll just do it in the plugin that I'm working on, even if it's like like this one here. I mean, this is the main plugin that I've been working on for a while. But I do all of my experimental stuff in here, which is why I have... Uh, you know what, I can just show you, because I'm, I'm actually kind of happy. I'm kind of proud of this. Oops, dog died. And then we need a diamond. An emerald. And what is the other thing? Nether star, I think. So you can right click. Oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and go unicorn so I can see my, uh, or dragon. Okay. Right now you have to relog to initialize your classes. That's something wrong with Bucket, I think. So right here, I don't know if you can see that, those two zero zero, that is your, uh, 
your banner color at the moment. Um, they all do different things. Oops. <sighs> Sorry. Just getting, you know what? Um, I need to fix Dragon. I forgot to update their, uh, I forgot to update the, uh, color change method. So let's go... Not black, because black is bad. It gives you blindness, I think, if I remember right. Let's go purple and white. Throw a diamond. And there you go. It makes an armor stand. He's holding the object. And you see I get haste and absorption. So there are 15, 16 colors in total, including white. Um, with two combinations per banner, and each of them, I think it stacks if I remember right. Hmm. Let's go blue and pink. And that should give me fires that, yeah, they stack. And it's a radius thing. So if I get too far, the particle should stop, which they're not because I forgot to uh, turn that on, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Oh, also that's an emerald, so you get it further. I'm kind of happy with this. I made, like, banner beacon things, pretty much. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that. Okay, yeah. No, I'm still in range. Okay, you get the point. If you get out of range, the particles stop, and then also you don't get the buffs anymore. But another thing is, if you go over here, punch it once, you get your emerald back and the banner. Well, that's weird. <laughs> oh god, haste looks weird. <laughs> so yeah. That's the thing. That was that was actually an experimental thing. I was trying to see if I could get the radius of a of an area and find only players and it did. Also, that was a whole new thing where I was working with cuz I didn't know how banners worked. I had to figure out how to get the uh metadata from the banners. I think I ended up just Yeah, I ended up just reading it. <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, I'll just read the metadata, duh." And then I uh, made a new one and gave it to the... Actually, I can show you the class later. Oh god, this is going on for too long and I'm rambling. I'm very sorry. This is a problem I have. I'm... <laughs> okay, end the video before you kill someone.